Hey guys, how's it going? So you know what? The wife and I got talking. She said, hey, I want to be a little bit more prepared before we go camping so we can actually eat besides chips and a sandwich. So she said she wants to do some cooking. I said, hey, no problem. So this is her going crazy. Check it out. Okay, so here's the thing. I've only been camping once or twice and I don't really recall. So we went last week, as you guys know, and we basically didn't think about cooking. We just were going out there to relax. So we went out with a sandwich, which was great because no cooking involved, no fuss, no fuss, no nothing. And now that we've done it and I decided to kind of like it, I enjoy cooking. However, we work a lot of hours. Like, I mean, a lot of hours. So we want to take off. We want to take off for, you know, maybe Saturday night when I get off work and we're going to stay overnight till Sunday afternoon. That's it. That's all. You're not really planning for it. it just might be spur of the moment thing. So I think it'd be probably a good idea for me to prep some stuff so we can just go like after I get off work, grab it out of the freezer and go. So we're in the store and I found these hash browns for like three dollars and forty-eight cents. So the two longest bag of hash browns for three dollars forty-eight cents. So my thought is I'm going to take this bag of hash browns and make it into three bags of hash browns and freeze them so that we can just grab them and go when we're ready to go camping. Um, no fuss, no muss, add a little bit of eggs to them in the morning, fry them up, add a little bit of eggs, and you've got breakfast. Okay, so all you really, really need is an onion, a bell pepper of your choice. I prefer red, I don't know, they're just, they don't give me indigestion. You're gonna just cut it up, stick it in your chopper, and add it to your potatoes. So I'm gonna stick these in here. I'm thinking, hmm, probably a whole pepper for that big bag. It's going to go in three different bags, remember, so a whole pepper should do it. So we've got the onion pepper in there. Might need a little bit more onion. I think I like the onion in my potatoes, especially when you're adding eggs. And that's pretty much it. You got a good ratio of chopped up veggies in there. I'm going to grab some Ziploc bags, maybe one more pulse, which I have right here. And these you can get like in a bag for like $4.98, so I use one and an onion, and that's enough then. Potatoes, $3.48, so I'm going to do three bags because I think there's quite a bit of potatoes in there. So I'll grab these out of here. And my thought is, instead of mixing it all in this bag, I'm going to stick the onions and peppers individually in each one of these bags so I have them evenly distributed, so to speak. These are just, I'm going to put some seasoning in these, just whatever you choose, probably some garlic and a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of salt and fresh ground pepper, and then I'm going to put them back in the freezer, and then you can grab them and go. Okay, so I've got the onions and peppers in here, the potatoes, I grabbed this bacon from Costco, fantastic deal, I think it's like $13, you get one of those little ones and... It'll cost you 13 bucks for like a pack like this. So toss those the way to go. And it's nice fresh bacon. So I'm gonna check some of this in here. In each one of these bags. A 
good. I mean, some people put the whole bag in there, but can't do that. Okay, good enough, probably. And then I'm just gonna add some spice and mix it all up. So I've got some garlic salt. I'm gonna chuck some of that in there. Ooh, that's probably sufficient. And then some. And I've got some, I like the steak spice, so I'm gonna chuck a little bit of that in there. I also like it spicy, um, and so does my guy. So a little bit of this Mrs. Dash that has no salt in it, but it's got a little spite, which is nice. Uh, some fresh ground pepper. And some salt. Not a lot, because you can salt it when you're going to eat it, or when you're cooking it. So I'm going to close these guys up, try and get the air out of them as much as you can. I'm just going to mix this up so that it's all stuck in them and it mixes up. So I did this, and you can do this without the frozen stuff. I did this with just regular baked potatoes. I chucked them in the oven in the middle of the week, about five or six of them, put them in the fridge. A couple days later, I chopped them up, fried them up with onions and peppers and stuff. So you can do the same thing, which is what I was gonna do, but 348 for a big bag couldn't pass it up. So these will just be chucked in the fr freezer. And whether for dinner with like some chicken breast or something, or when we go camping, grab it, stick it in your cooler, add some eggs in the morning, and you've got breakfast. So guys, she likes to be prepared. When we go there, she wants to have breakfast like that. So my job, she's made it, she's got it ready. All I have to do is add the eggs in and cook it up. So you know what? That's it, that's all. Hope you all had a ball. We are out of here. Until next time, guys. Thanks for watching. What am I supposed to do? Just standing? Standing. Okay. Pretty much. <laughs> Look at the camera. <laughs> hey guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get the next video. Again, guys, thanks for watching.